Hello, hello everyone. I'm here with you today, me, Patrice Danielle, and Andre Hatchett coming at you live to talk about the art of approach. Um, how are you doing today, Andre? Doing great, Patrice. Had a great day. How about yourself? I'm good. You know, I'm, as Drake would say, chilling with no makeup on right now because I'm trying to prepare for some guests that are coming in town this week. All right. Nice, nice, nice. No need for the makeup. Uh, <laughs> um, so talk to me a little bit about how you approach women when you're out and about. When I'm single, of course, because I only do it when I'm single, mm -hmm. I approach when I, I approach a woman, um, I exercise what I practice in business. It's a sense of absolute certainty. So it's nothing will get in the way between of me um, approaching this this lady and getting her number and setting up a date when we meet. So mm -hmm. on at the approach, it's two things. Me getting her number and confirming a date. Those two things. And, and those thoughts never leave my mind unless I, I, I just lose interest in the conversation. So, so you confirm in the beginning? I confirm in my head before I even go over to her. Okay. <laughs> All right. You, Very organized approach. Oh, totally. Yeah, this is straight business right here. This is, this is, this is serious <laughs> stuff. So we, we I, I do that. I, I, so I started off, and then when I make my moves, and again, the whole time, because you female, as you can state, you pick up on how we feel, how confident right. we are, right. how secure we are, and how, the tone that we set. Because it's easy to get in the friend zone when you have a weak approach, and you have like a, oh, okay, let's do this, or maybe that, when you're flip-flopping. Mm -hmm. but, but when mm -hmm. you're direct... It's either going to work or it's, or it's not. There's going to be no in-between. She's going to know exactly how you feel about her, and hopefully she'll feel the same way about you. So when I meet a woman, I um, – okay, here's how, here's how I ask for her number, right? Mm -hmm. So if the competition goes well, I'm going to do this. I'm going to say, great, okay. Here, put your number in my phone. Slide. Done. Slide it right on over. And I'm going to say, we're going to go out on Thursday. I pick you up at 9 o'clock. I'll call you Tuesday to confirm. Mm -hmm. And wear a dress. And she's going to say, well, where are we going? I'm going to say, don't worry about that. I have it under control. Keyword. Yeah. I want control. You to have I have it under control. Or you can say something like, I got this. I got the lead. Those things, those are the words that I I just say and that again sets more of the tone because they know, oh wow, this guy, yeah, he has it together. All right, I don't have to pick where we're going. You women hate having having the guy ask you where should we go? go? Where do you want to go? It's up oh, to you. you oh, I can't. I, I don't like time, it at all. Okay. Let's do it for. The, so, hey, hey, where do you want to go on Thursday? Um, it's up to you. Uh, I don't know. Where do you want to go? Uh, I mean, it's really up to you. I'm open. Okay. You see, every time that we did this back and forth, she loses some... Um, more and more interest each time. Okay. More and more adult interest. You guys know what I mean by that. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. how you... <laughs> 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 more and more adult interest out the window. But let's try this. Patrice, um, great talking to you. All right. Here, hit me with your number. Uh, I'm going to call you on Tuesday to confirm. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to take you. I'm going to call you, all right? But um, wear, like, you know, like a nice little dress when we, when we hang out on Thursday. I'll be there at 9 o'clock. Cool? Okay. You have no choice but to say okay. Like, yeah. it's like, you know, like, you really don't leave the option. And you're very pleasant with it, but authoritative and confident. Yes. Yes. So I would firmly recommend that... A lot of the brothers who don't, you know, everybody has their own types, but if they're winding up in the friend zone, you know, the friend zone, no flex zone. Right, right, right. All the times with females, I, I would definitely try that approach because a lot of sisters say to me, you know, I thought you were going to ask me where I wanted to go. I'm so used to picking and guys not choosing and mm -hmm. they lose major interest. So set it up, confirm it, rock it out from there and set up at least the first three dates. Don't ask them where they want to go, guys. The first set them three. Up, set them up, hey, and you can be a nice dude. I'm a gentleman. I open the door. I open your door. We don't even date. Right. You know, I'm that dude. So you can be a nice dude, be a gentleman. You got to be assertive with it. You got to be assertive. So keep that in mind. How do you feel about women approaching you? 
I like it. It's cool. It's cool. Really? Yeah. I think so it. it's I, not too much. No, it's not too much if it's just an approach. Okay. If you're approaching, then you want to plan everything else too. That's too domineering. Like you got to go. <laughs> I'm not down on that. So what's the <laughs> ideal situation then? If, if, if I don't pick you up, um, it would be heavy flirting, heavy flirting. Let me know you're interested. Right. And then I'll take, if I'm, if I'm interested back, I'll take the lead from there. I'll take the reins. So just do the flirting part. A heavy flirt, maybe a touch, maybe, um, maybe <laughs> a lot I'm of laughing. laughing. <laughs> I like laughing. I like mm -hmm. laughing. Smile. And a laugh with a touch is good too. Oh, you're so funny, Audrey. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so that's so funny because I have friends I don't approach guys and I have friends who you know I laugh and joke with about it because they do and I have one who's always like you know what you should go and just like you know at least start the flirting game with someone and do it with somebody who you don't really care about because then you won't care if they turn you down that's mean <laughs> you tell your friends that it's mean to do because here's what the guys are going to do they're going to be excited because you're an attractive lady, and they're going to tell their oh friends. Oh, my gosh. They're going to tell their mom. They're going to tell their boys, tell their work friends. They say, oh, I met this woman, and she hit on me, and she's hot, and all this other stuff. And you're not going to return his calls. So that's leading on that dude. That's you know, I've never thought about that aspect of it. I've always just been scared to cross that line. Like, I still won't go and say anything. But, you know, I think there's nothing wrong with, you know, going and flirting, like you said. I mean, the full-blown pickup, I'm just so used to, you know, um, men courting women, you know? And so I, I just can't get past that. But yeah. Well, here's the deal, right? Some women get hit on more than others. Look, let's just be honest. Some mm -hmm. women get approached more than others. So if you're not getting approached that much... It it might not have anything to do with looks very much. It might, it might have to do with some people are less approachable than others. Some people look mean. Some women <laughs> don't have, don't smile. Right. But, you know, so different, again, different people don't get approached for different reasons. So if you're not getting approached, you might have to change, change the routine. And also to help out um, in the in, in, in terms of the numbers game, if you go out with a crew and you're a lady. Go mm -hmm. out in a group of three or less. Three or less. Three or less, especially Why? if you lunch at a restaurant or whatever. Sit and sit at the bar and or close to the bar because these big ten groups, ten ten lady groups that you guys go out in, mm -hmm. it's a lot and it's competition for you guys too. Because if it's three or less, one of you guys might be dark, one of you guys might be light. One of you guys might have a weave, one of you guys might be natural, <laughs> whatever. So we can pick what we want. I usually approach the darker skin sisters. That's my thing. But if there's 10 of you guys, it's going to be three dark skin sisters, mm -hmm. three in between, three light, one Latin, and we're going to be like, damn, it's going to be overwhelming. We're not going to know who to talk is to. Is it so intimidating? Intimidating is a strong word. It just could be overwhelming. Like, who the hell are we going to pick? And why sit next to the bar? It's just, um, a, you don't have to walk as far? Yes, because that walk from the bar to the table right. with a rejection, which doesn't happen to me very often, but some people get rejected and have, mm. doesn't, you know, it, it has happened before. So <laughs> Just not often. Just not that often. <laughs> so, so when we're at the bar, it's close proximity. And if you're not at the bar, sit at the tables behind the bar, the long tables. Don't be yeah. seating area. So All right. I would have so, that. And don't forget to go out alone. You can, you can go out alone, too. Okay, so it's not weird to be that girl at the, alone at the bar? No, it's totally cool. Totally cool. But bring a book. Um, here's what you don't do. Don't go out with guys, uh -huh. and even if they're gay, and they don't look gay. Because <laughs> a, there's this new wave, which is totally cool. I have nothing against um, um, like gay brothers and sisters, but mm -hmm. there's this new wave of gay guys who don't look gay, but they're gay. So if I see you, I want to approach Patrice, but, but, but you're with a dude, I'm like, okay, that's probably her boyfriend. But he might not be your boyfriend. He just might be your gay friend who you hang out with on weekends. But I don't know that the dude looks like a dude who's not gay. So <laughs> I would see recommend <laughs> not, not doing that. Oh, yeah, I got somebody gay. Make sure they're flamboyant. If you want to get approached. Like, so I guess going out with your heterosexual male friends is just not even an option if you want to get approached. 
I'm not a good option, no. Ah, oh, that <laughs> sucks. I have so many hetero. I, you are my male friend, and we go <laughs> out. I and feel like think, if we're not hugged up, right, it should. But, but people thought that we were dead. Remember we were at two weeks ago? Oh, uh, you're right. We did uh, get that. It's, it's not. It, again, it's a great thing. I love hanging out with you and my other female friends. We're, you know, we're just cool. But if you're looking for somebody, if you're on the prowl, if you're a lady and you want to get married, you want a long-term relationship, you want to get picked up for whatever reason, I really recommend those few things going out. Small group of females sit at the bar and are close to the bar. And Wow. No who, who knew this involved being so strategic? You, you could write like a little, you know, I could, a, a I could, mini book on this. I should be selling this stuff. <laughs> exactly. I really should be selling this stuff. I, I, I've uh, mastered the art. <laughs> Wow. Okay. Hopefully not too much longer because I'm, I'm tired of the dating scene. So hopefully um, I can not have to use these well, skills. Well, with your assertive approach, I don't see it being longer. I mean, too much longer for you. Thank you, Patrice. That's, <laughs> That's what I'm hoping. So how do you like to be approached? What's your ideal scenario? Um, You know, I definitely like for um, a guy to be confident. Um, I'd like for him to kind of start a conversation with me. He doesn't go right in, need to go right into asking for my number or anything. Like, let's talk first, you know, let's, let's make it very casual first, but also be confident in yourself and, and make it, you know, clear that you're interested. Um, especially when it's time to ask for the date, because some people just end it with, you know, well, let's hang out sometime or, you know, and it's like, if you're interested, you know, call the date, like, like, let's, let's call it what it is. It's weak. Say it. It, it is. It's weak. It's weak. You know, it's, it's, it's definitely a turn off. It's weak. Yeah, you know, and, and here's the deal, right? The tone is so important because there's a lot of good brothers out there, you know, just good human beings, solid citizens, but they wind up being the friend over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. and, they, and they're not a bad boy, and they're going to try to be the bad boy, but they need to get a little more base in their step, a little more base in their approach, a little more of a direct approach. And I think that three dates, picking and setting up the first three dates, right, is, is key to avoiding that zone. It's a key thing. And um, brothers, when if in between the first three dates, if the lady asks you to meet up with her and her friends casually, avoid it till after the third day because that will can still get you in the friend zone because it's just too casual interesting it's just too informal you want something formal you want something direct right and ask ask the lady to wear a dress <laughs> ask to wear a nice dress casual or dressy mm -hmm. it's important because um people like you you're very traditional you're old-fashioned you're feminine you get that stuff right right you get that stuff i think most females who are uh more, more on the old-fashioned side will get it as well. Yeah. So after three dates, three three dress wearings, then, you know, you're being introduced as, you know, this is Dre and not my homeboy Dre. You're Dre. Yeah. yeah get right, it. right. Okay. I mean, it's cool if you don't want to be in it, but if you want to be somewhere else, that crap is whack. Keep uh, the first three to yourself. The, you know, an intimate uh, setting. Now, and we're establishing something. Right. We're establishing something. And we ain't giving you no damn friends. Because <laughs> no you know friends. No. <laughs> you know. No. <laughs> you know when we're on a date. That won't happen. Oh, my God. So, you know, I think that the next thing we need to discuss the next time we're together is um, what those first three dates entail. You know, because I love the fact that you set up the first three. So we need to talk about, you know, what the first three are about, what happens during them, you know? Let's do it. Let's come down. All right. Well, as always, thanks. And I can't wait to see what viewers have to say. Bye, guys. Peace. Peace.